Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for July 2010. And this also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So my Scorpios, Saturn is changing sign this month. It's going from Virgo into Libra from your 11th into your 12th house. This is subtly different. Many of you with this Saturn in your 11th have had to deal with endings of relationships, of friendships. Maybe an ending of your dreams, of a wish, of something you'd hoped for that had not quite come to fruition in the way you wanted it to. With Saturn coming into this 12th house now, this is a time for reflection. It's also a time for tidying up anything from the past. Any distant relationships, any distant issues that need clearing up. Maybe the people now are no longer alive, but you need to make peace. You need to heal things from the past, otherwise they're going to come up. They're going to remind you and you may need to go through some completions in this area. Skeletons can come out of the closet during this time. So Scorpios, you like things, you like to find out and delve into things, but these things need to be resolved and dealt with properly and finished up once and for all rather than having them hold on. There's a tendency, Scorpio, for you to hold on. You hold on for grim death for things you don't like letting go. This will be a time of letting go, a time of just having things just go, of having it be easy, of allowing things that no longer work in your life just to go. Let them go. We've got the Sun and Mercury for the first two, three weeks in your ninth house. This is a great time for anything involving teaching, learning, education. For those of you that want to publish a book or get a book published, great time for marketing it and getting it out now or even sending it to publishers. It's a good time for traveling, making travel plans, exploring new boundaries, developing your spiritual side more. All of these things would come under this Sun and Mercury in the ninth house for the first two, three weeks of the month. Then we have a big focus for you, Scorpios, with the Sun, Mercury and Venus in your 10th house of career, work, life direction, social standing. So it's a great time to put some energy into either a new direction in your career or into being accepted maybe for a promotion, for being noticed for really having your reputation enhanced. These are great planets as far as your career is concerned, for shining a light on what it is you want to do with your life, for maybe deciding on what it is you want to do with your life. But this is gonna be a great time. You're gonna feel as though things start to move forward in this area because boy, they haven't been moving forward so much and really take advantage of these aspects. We've got still opposite Neptune in the fourth house. So many of you are experiencing changes in your home area. Some of you are having to move or maybe don't want to move or are having to make sacrifices in the home family area maybe to the detriment of your work and your career and what it is you want to achieve in the world so these th there will be some kind of tension between these two areas this month but you can certainly look forward to some good openings coming up with your career if you will take advantage of them you need to be aware of them and then jump at any opportunities that come in we do have uh, the remaining part of the month, the very end of the month, Venus, Mars, Mercury in your 11th house. So Scorpios, it's a good time to get out and about a little bit, just a little bit, Never, not too much because you've still got that reflective thing to deal with issues from the past that need to be resolved and completed. But if you want to join an organisation or if you belong to an organisation, put a bit of energy into it, go out and enjoy it. Or maybe just go out with a friend and enjoy being with that friend because the Venus energy will bring just a nice day out, a, pleasure, a pleasant time together. And it could also bring somebody new in your life who, the, who you really enjoy being with. We've also got opposite that Saturn when it comes into your 12th house. We've got this Jupiter-Uranus uh, conjunction in your 6th house. So this is really a time for opening up, for expanding. If you, if you work in a certain area, maybe expanding your skills in that area, learning more. It's a good time for volunteering, good time for helping other people. It's also a good time for working on your health, your physical health, your mental, your emotional health. Really good time for opening up and maybe doing new things and being ready to take a few risks in order to get yourself onto a higher level of health and well-being in every area of your life. 
So there you have it, Scorpio. I've had an amazing response to my one question special offer. For $25, you ask one question and get an answer in an email of up to 150 words. Since I've had such a great response, I've decided to just keep it on now as something that I'm going to offer to you every month. And for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, um, be it the question or an in-depth reading, financial relationship reading, please take a look at my website. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you very much for listening and I wish you a great month. Bye for now.